Budot's flying solo today, so please bear with me. Um, I've learnt that I'm not that good at playing games and chatting at the same time, but we'll see how we go. Uh, I've just got to do a little bit of the background work as per usual, so let's chuck on some music to start with. Okay, that's done. Uh, if you're new to the stream, welcome. If you're watching replays, welcome. Uh, I'm going to try my very best just to chat to myself today. Um, Got to go to the live control room. All right, so I'm trying to remember everything that needs to be done. Just bear with me. Uh, focus on my stream. Okay, not sure what that means, but we did it. Okay. Uh, shopping. Almost there. Uh, so today's topics, we've got a few. The title may change. Hello, Random, how are you? It's good to see you again. Um, what's been happening? Just bear with me while I do all of this background work. Unfortunately, Stinky's not here. Seth Schaefer Gaming's there too. How are you? It's good to see you both. Um, I'm going to do the, uh, what is it, the channel memberships again today. So just bear with me, I've got to do the poll as well. Ah, oh, it's all happening. All right, um, let me just get into here so I can do the poll. All right, uh, let me know if that music's a little too loud too, because it's at the usual setting, but um, it sounds a little bit loud. Alright, so I'm in here, but why is the JK? The chat's there. Um, did you have a good Easter break? I'll start with that while I'm uh, doing this stuff. So engage with the audience, uh, start a poll. All right. uh, I was thinking about making I uh, can't, that heart thing stops me from reading the end of what you've written there, Seth. Just bear with me for a moment. I'm just putting the poll up first. Do... So that's the poll done, I hope. I'm just waiting for that to, yep, that's done. I was thinking about making RPG Maker Game. Does that mean you're a gaming developer, Seth? Because I'm not sure whether that means just a normal video or, or actually creating a game. All right, now I might as well get rid of a few channel memberships first. So let me do that. Hopefully Seth will get one. Um, because you are quite not, not that one. Um, membership gifting that one. Alright, so there's five to be done there now. I'll give another five away a little later on in the stream. We'll just see who shows up. Uh, the <laughs> Spidey and Random always seems to... Oh, Mitch got one too. That's good. Hopefully he'll show up today. We've been hoping Mitch will get one. It looks like Seth didn't, though. Um, just bear with me, Seth. I'm just going to finish what I was doing before. And then um, hopefully you'll get a member. Oh, actually, I should tell you, um, Seth, you do need to turn on accept uh, memberships in order to be able to get them. And you can do it. I'd recommend that you do it for all channels. Just so that um, even your favourite channels, they might, uh, oh, why is that not working? They might give you a membership as well. So I tend to always say just uh, put it set for all of them. Or I suppose if you don't want memberships, you don't have to. But they're good fun. 
I'm not sure why that's not working. I'll just leave that for the moment. All right, almost done. Actually, I'm not even close to being done. Um, what's going on here? Why is that not showing up? What's this? No, I don't want to look at any of that. Alright, so it's done. Sorry about this. Um, because I'm running solo, it does make things a little bit harder. Um, okay. Geez, I really should start playing that game too. No, that's not working. Alright, where are we? Uh, oh, Mitch is there and he did get the membership. Alright, so good to, good to see you. And uh, I'll also say, Mitch, sorry, I didn't see your uh, Discord message until just before the stream. So um, I've got to say, and I hope I'm not embarrassing you, but kudos to you. Um, you're a very talented singer. I'll say that now. I should be getting you to do the... The covers instead of stinky and i you you've got a very strong voice and um again hoping i'm not embarrassing you here but you've grown up a lot since i've met you uh yeah you're looking like a, a fine young man already which is good nicely dressed as well all right so just bear with me um Oh, I've got to do one more thing, so if I can just get the chat to talk amongst themselves for a moment, I'll be right back. Ah, uh, it's so hard on my own! Alright, so as per usual, uh, happy to talk about anything, uh, happy to talk about anything that the audience wants to. I did have a few topics of discussion, Seth says I'll add Poodot Stink Pants cameo in my game if that's okay. That'd be awesome, Seth. So can you explain to me, Seth, you are actually trying to develop a game, is that, am I understanding that correctly? Um, I really should be paying attention to the game as well, but I'm not. <laughs> so that's okay. Uh, so, topics of conversation. First one, I suppose, uh, just like the title, uh, what's the story with this emote? Oh, yeah, you might not have known, known that one. So, way back in the day, Mitch, when we first started YouTube, we had a few in-jokes and... We were playing, what was it? Zombies and plants versus zombies. And it's, we played the, I think one and two. And uh, it was the second one. So not the first one, but the, the second installment of the game. Stinky was playing it, but at one point she took a break or whatever and I started playing it. And for whatever reason, the live chat at the time thought it was hilarious that I kept saying something to do with bok choy. <laughs> bok choy being one of the, the characters in the game and I guess they just thought it was funny. So when we got the, the memberships, uh, rather than have the, the template uh, emojis or emote, um, we tried to make our own. So we included that as one of them. And the other one that you might not know is the water for some reason people find it funny with the way I pronounce water. Uh, so there's that too. Oh, okay. Is there a double jump? Oh, there is a double jump. Okay. Just bear with me. Um, so there's that. Now, 
Uh, bok choy was my mum's favourite plant in the game. Well, it was doing well for me too, so I think that's why we we uh, included that as an emote, because I believe I was using that quite a lot uh, when I was playing. Uh, I'm really not watching whatever that game is saying, but that's okay, we'll struggle through it. Uh, he played a lot together when I was younger. I wish I could get rid of that emote on the side there because I can't see the last word or two. Um, okay, so I guess a few things to talk about just while I'm waiting for you guys to discuss things. Hang on, I should have... What did that say? I should have paid attention to that. Where am I going? Um, is there a way to go? Oh, there is a way to go down. And enter. Whoa, we've got past the first scene. Uh, so first one is like, do you, do you think that you act or behave differently or speak differently in front of different people? Um, because I've had a couple of experiences recently where uh, I certainly do. I'll, I'll admit that straight up, that depending who I'm talking to and even with the, the online live performances, uh, I will behave differently online than I do in real life. Uh, but I had a, an experience last weekend where... I guess, uh, I don't want to name names or anything, but I'll say a couple of friends. I caught up with a couple of friends that um, I needed some help with just getting some documents witnessed. And uh, it's very obvious to me that one of them acts very differently depending on what situation he's in. So if he's around his own family, he's, he's much more mature and speaks in a, in a pleasant manner and won't swear or say anything that's untoward especially in front of his own children um, but when he's with the boys and the wives aren't there he'll act completely different however the other friend that was there seems to not act any differently regardless of who he's in front of am i supposed to attack this no that's a friend of mine it looks like okay um Seems to act the same no matter who he's in front of, which might not necessarily be a good thing. Uh, especially when you're in front of younger people, you probably shouldn't swear or, you know, limit the conversation to things that isn't too graphic or serious. So that was the first one. And then just this morning, I was outside doing some, some early morning gardening and... Uh, one of the neighbours approached me and we had a bit of a chat and um, I noticed, yeah, I act differently towards her than I would other people as well. So I'm just curious what other people think, whether they do or don't. Um, on the topic of this stream, I think there's a word for it, code switching. Really? Okay, I did not know that. Is that a term that the youth use today? Um, does it mean that well, actually, I would like to, to hear your interpretation of what it means rather than me say anything. Oh, okay, and you've talked a lot about it in class. Please expand, uh, Mitch. I'm very curious to hear what's been said in class. It's an official term. So is this a psychology term that's used, code switching? I'm very curious because... The, the people that have, have watched us for years know that I sort of take a great interest in human psychology. And I find it very interesting to see how people behave in certain situations or just how they behave generally. Um, I would recommend, like, it's good to... Do, oh, what happened to me? Looks like I've got an even stronger character. Um... That it's good to develop social skills and I guess personalities will dictate you're either good at it or you're not. Um, certainly during my school years, I, I've met some very intelligent people, extremely intelligent people, but they were socially inept. They, they just didn't have, so oh geez, it looks like I'm with a big boss here. So they had really good academic skills, but absolutely no social skills. 
And I get that everyone's different and sometimes it's not that easy to do and you've got to have confidence to do do that as well. Um, and you might find sometimes you are confident and then other times you're not. So that, that can also change situations as well. Um, it's just a switching of how you behave or speak around other groups or on other platforms. It's sometimes something as simple as not swearing or whole new languages, formal versus informal. Yes, I would 100% agree with this code switching. <coughs> I think uh, for the average person that's um, reasonably intelligent, they're going to be aware of, of that. It's something that you do need to develop. And for example, the swearing, no swearing, I mean, ideally, you, you don't really want to swear at all if you can help it. I know people that just do not swear. Um, but I suppose sometimes it's... Uh, I don't know if I've told this story, but I'll tell it again. That I was living with a, a Vietnamese flatmate a, a long time ago. And her English was very good. But often when you come from another country you don't learn all of the swear words so she was asking me uh, some of the swear words and I didn't want to teach her but she convinced me she said look it's you know I just want to learn I need to know what they are because I know what the swear words are in my language but not yours so reluctantly I taught her one and I said look you can use this and you know I'll say it was the F word I said, you can use this if you want, but don't. <laughs> don't say it in front of your classmates. Don't use it at, at university. Just, you know, keep it to yourself. And so she said, yes, yes, I, I won't, won't use it. Well, anyway, one day she was in class and she was having trouble with the computer and she just blurted it out. <laughs> And her classmates were shocked because she's such a lovely, lovely person. Very pure of heart, very kind. Um, and you just wouldn't think that a word like that would come out of someone like her. And she got told off immediately by the Australians in the class like, saying, hey, what are you doing? You shouldn't be using that word. She said, sorry, sorry. And she was telling me this story and I went off at her as well, said, hey, you told me you wouldn't do it and you did it anyway. And she said, I oh, know, I'm sorry, I won't do it again. But it's, it felt really good. That's what she said to me. So I guess in the heat of the moment, maybe it's, a, it's better to get your frustrations out by using bad language than it is to be physically aggressive. But so ideally you wouldn't want to do that. There's Red December. Good to see you as well. Uh, I will, just as an aside here, uh, Red, thank you for your suggestion for the next cover song. We've been a little bit slack in uploading a new one just because it's a little bit difficult uh, at the moment. And I've been learning that song. So um, with the there's a difference between finger picking and finger style guitar. And this song is finger style, so I'm struggling with that a little bit. It's it's a little bit more complicated to play, but enjoying the process. We'll get there eventually. Spidey's there as well. Um, I'm wondering if the big news is your boxing match that you had, the, the amateur boxing match. I'd be curious to know how that went. Uh, if you did have it in the last two weeks, I'm not sure if you actually told me when it was happening. Um, a California Dreaming cover in the future would be amazing. Mitch, I love your taste in music. Uh, Mamas and the Papas, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, California Dreaming is an awesome song. I did learn that a long time ago. But um, yeah, so with me personally, and maybe this is only for musicians that understand the difference between writing, uh, sorry, reading music. Uh, which I'm not very good at, but Stinky's very good at reading music. Um, I mainly learn by ear or by watching someone. So what that often means is you can be good at retaining music if you listen by ear. So you learn a song and 
you can remember it much better than someone that reads music. Um, that's just been my experience in life, meeting other musicians and seeing the difference between people that learn by ear and people that read music. Um, but there's a downside to that in that once you've learnt hundreds of songs or thousands of songs, you often forget them just because there's too much to, to remember in, in your head. And I've certainly experienced that on the guitar. So uh, with that, I, I do want to thank uh, all of the loyal DLG for watching these music videos as well. We've had some good constructive feedback as well, as well as some very kind comments. Uh, to be honest, we, we don't think we performed either of those uploads very well. Uh, Stinky's not happy with her singing, particularly with the newest one. Um, but I've got to get her to do it because I'm an even... Well, she's not a bad singer. It's just hitting some of those high notes and it gets a bit hard. Uh, but I'm way worse than that. And I have noticed from giving away the, the memberships that a lot of the... Uh, members only videos have been watched now uh, so I'm a little bit embarrassed by that because they're all original songs that were written when I was quite young and didn't really know Whoop. oh hang on am I dying that didn't look good what am I supposed to do here uh, yeah so feel free to check them out uh, Mitch particularly now that you've got access to those I remember when you're a uh, patron member, I don't know why it would not let me let you access them at that time. But now that you, you have the channel member, you can check them out regardless. I'm not gonna say they're very good though, uh, or any good. All right, so uh, what next? So we've been talking about, pers well, there's personality types as well, if you've ever done the personality type test um, and I guess that can affect the way people will speak to each other as well uh, certainly if you've got a more A type well I can't even remember what they are but type personality A or B these sorts of things that will dictate how you interact with other people um, the best thing I can say is try and be as diplomatic as you can in life. I struggle with that. I know I can be very blunt with people on occasion. What am I supposed to do here? Um, does, no, does that thing do anything? No. Well, I'm going backwards. Alright. Uh, oh, you have to jump over it? No. What am I supposed to do here? Can I go up here? Nope. Uh, can't wait to check them out. Well, again, I'll, I'll say not the the greatest renditions, but it is all original music for that. Uh, none of them are covers. And to be honest, when I uh, get, I did actually get a, a older recorder. Uh, what do you call it? Like a home studio that's the exact same one as the one I had. I couldn't get it fixed because it was so, so old, you can't get parts for them anymore. But um, I haven't managed to find the time to be able to adjust things. I really should have paid attention to what's going on because now I'm stuck. Oh, can I pick up that? Nope. Oh. Surely I must be able to do something with that. Sorry, just bear with me while I try and figure out what I'm... Does that work? No. Nope. Um, what else have I got? No. Nope. Oh. This is the biggest problem with me, that once I start talking, I stop paying attention to the actual... Oh, okay. Can I do a double jump there? I've got to get up there somehow. Oh! Um, mmm, how do I get that high? Uh. Off that mushroom, I think. Alright, so the next thing, and this is where I wish Stinky was here, because last weekend or two weekends, no, it was two weekends ago, we went and watched Cirque du Soleil. 
which was an extraordinary experience. Uh, she still hasn't told me how much the tickets were, so I, I will say they, they might be expensive. But if you do ever get the opportunity, I would highly recommend it. Uh, to be honest, I didn't think that I'd be that entertained because I don't watch a lot of gymnastics or, or acrobatics. But yeah, their attention to detail and just the show itself was really entertaining. Very funny in parts. Um, very, uh, what's the word to use? Suspenseful, suspenseful in parts and scary as well to, to see what these really talented people can do is um, very impressive. There was one thing I will say though that I have found out that I don't like. Um, I have seen that... Hang on, just bear with me for a sec. Oh, why, why can't I get that high? Why? Oh, okay. This is testing the skill. Um, the only part that I didn't like in the entire show... No! Uh... <laughs> okay. Um, the only part in the entire show that I wasn't that happy with was the male contortionist. I've seen female contortionists before and even that doesn't appeal to me that much just because um, dashes are going to afford March details. Um, just, oh, hang on. Greatly reduces dash cooldown for eight seconds. Okay. Pick up, destroy, something like that. I'm not sure where I need to enter. Uh, but anyway, so this male contortionist, he was putting him, his body in positions that just, oh, it almost made me queasy. It just didn't look human. Now, credit to his talent. Uh, I jokingly said to Stinky, um, I wonder whether or not he got some ribs removed to be able to do what he, he was doing. It just made me uneasy. And the funny thing was, throughout all of the different acts that they have, um, oh. what, how did I earn a trophy by dying? Okay, fine. Oh, no, maybe that was the end of the, the round. So, uh, yeah, while he was doing his performance, they, they weren't clapping as hard and cheering as hard as all the other acts, and I certainly wasn't. And, you know, I'm sorry to the, the guy, but I just, it was, yeah, awkward for me personally to watch. But the funny thing is at the end, he got the loudest cheer of everyone. So I guess he was happy about that. And then the other stuff is, yeah, they, I can't give spoilers away in case anyone wants to see it. And from what Stinky told me, there's... They put on different shows throughout the year as well with different themes and so on. So I guess I can say a few things. There's <coughs> one act where they had two guys that were exceptionally good with soccer balls. The, the tricks that they were doing, some of them I'd never seen before. Um, then there is another, there is the main, well, I don't want to call him the main character, but I guess he was because he was predominant throughout the the entire show. He wasn't an acrobat or anything. He was like the, the host, I suppose. And he had a very funny bit where he was literally just using a whistle. It's incredible how funny you can be just using a, a whistle to blow. So that was certainly entertaining. And then, of course, there's the acrobatics itself. Um very impressed at their skills so I do wonder if they were all aspiring Olympic athletes at one point. Oh Red you've been to the Cirque du Soleil with your mother nice one um, can you remember anything about it was it was it mainly acrobatics or did they have a section that was water show for example because in this one they used water a lot as well um, which was quite surprising 
Uh, and then you've got like a lot of the circus stuff, like a, a guy that specializes with bike riding, that sort of thing. Um, they had these huge swings that, again, I thought were a bit scary because they went out into the audience and it's pretty clear for the most part they don't have any sort of safety net. Sometimes they did. There, there was a guy that uh, added trait. What am I doing? Select traits carefully. Well, it doesn't really matter. I'll just select anything, I suppose. Yeah, let's go physical attack. Um, oh, I don't No, I don't have enough. Dark quartz, you need 30? No, I can't do it. Okay. Um, well, I'm going backwards. So, where was I? So, I get so sidetracked when I'm looking at the game. I've really got to study other live streamers to see how they do it. Am I really falling off a cliff again? I'm just going to go backwards for a sec, but I'm pretty sure that's not how this game plays. Anyway, we'll find out. Nope. Rules of etiquette. Another trophy of some kind. Hang on. Oh, sorry, I might have to ask again. It meets the eye. No, I can't do that. But what was the other thing? Talk. Once the highest floor of the Demon Castle is filled to the brim with senators, legend has it that one of the senators lost his footing and fell, became the first of all skeletons. Got any cat food? Yes, I do, but can I give it to you? Um, do I have any cat food? Do I have an inventory here? What is that, mate? That's not it. That's a rather weird song in the background there. Don't underestimate. Alright, I'm not too sure. Hang on. Can I do that? Is that Dark Quartz? I'm not sure what that is. Uh, was this a monthly free game? Yes. So the other one was actually Minecraft something, um, but I checked the reviews on both of them and this one seemed to have the better reviews. I think I'm just going to die here again, sorry for that. Oh no, it takes you to the next section, I should have done that before. So thankfully I've chosen one that seems to be pretty easy to play while uh, doing the live stream. Just got to see what's going on with this music because that is so weird. If I pause that, no, that is, oh, that's why. Oh, there's another song on top. All right, I'll skip that. Sorry for that, people. <laughs> Whoops. Uh, okay, back to, uh, back to here. Yeah, Minecraft Legends, that was the other one. So, uh, I was hoping to save that for, for a later date. Um, let me just talk to these guys as well. But uh, to be honest, I've got to, got to think of something to do to, to improve what we're uploading because I've noticed the channel's actually struggling a bit lately and um, certainly a lot of it has to do with the infrequent uploads and apologize to people that wait for that um, but we just don't have a lot of time at the moment and to be honest a, a lot of the free time that I'm using on the weekend is just preparing crops so putting in a lot of food stuff now so that we can harvest later um, yeah and I'll be doing that again as soon as this stream is over so um, we'll have to work something out I know I've sort of mentioned about doing various types of uploads but again that's it's difficult for us to get the time together to do that um remember being theatrical and beautiful costumes that is so true uh, that was another thing i was going to say about Cirque du Soleil 
They really have attention to detail in everything that they do. And it could be the smallest thing to the to uh, the chore well the choreography is quite obvious in that they um DLC not owned? What does that mean? I don't know what that means. Green looks better than red. Hopefully that is better. So the the detail that they put in their costumes is amazing. Um, the choreography when they have multiple people doing acrobatics is amazing as well. Um, but the other thing is, you know, I was going to put in the the poll, have you seen a live performance? And that can mean anything from watching a, a band to, um, oh, there's enemies everywhere. Everything from watching a band to watching a play, anything like that. Oh, I just died. Focus. Yeah, I'm not focusing at the moment. Um, and in this case, like a circus performance as well. Uh, and the reason I, I wanted to ask that is because oftentimes when I'm watching something like that, I'd sort of go into analysis mode, which means I'm not paying attention so much to what's going on, but looking at every little detail. So for example, like the people putting on the, the lights, uh, you know, how they climb up into their little towers and how they know when to put the light on and that sort of thing. Um, if it's in sync with some sort of background music, that sort of thing, to the tiniest details. So this might be a weird one to say, but they even went to the effort of cleaning their feet. And the reason I say that is because I've seen quite a few plays and people go around barefoot and, you know, often you're walking around and going backstage and your feet are dirty. And yet, even with their, their performances, everything was clean. It was just amazing. Uh, when they did their, their water performances, <coughs> at first I didn't realise it, but the i don't know whether you call them actors or just performers but the performers were doing the cleaning as well <laughs> and putting on costumes so that you didn't realize that they were the performers or even cleaning at that point i didn't notice it at first and then it was like oh they're actually getting rid of all of that water because i asked stinky isn't this dangerous to to have all of this water all over the the stage when you're doing acrobatic acts and um, she said to me didn't you notice they're cleaning them how and then I I saw that they had these machines that were sopping up all of the the water but even that had a costume on it so you couldn't really tell um, so yeah I would highly recommend it highly recommend it it's good to go to all kinds of shows so Mitch, for example, when he was doing his uh, choir performance, <laughs> I've seen those before, school performances, mainly when I was at school, but um, I want to help you, so... Sorry, I just need to read this for a sec. If we win this battle, we'll put Denkar's OK. I think that's the storyline. Does that mean I'm following you? Ready to... Well... Alright, so just bear with me. Um, what performances have you seen, whether you're in the live chat or watching the re replay? Put it in the comments. Let me know. Um, because I've seen lots of things, even science shows, book readings. They're all, all good. You know, it's all life experience. And I guess if money comes into play, you do need to consider that as well. Uh, what you can afford or can't afford or what you can justify uh, paying for. Uh, the reason I say that is I have a um, sibling that's been convincing me many, many times that if my football team makes the grand final, that... I should go and, and um, uh, 
spesies uh, okay this is different uh, now I'm still going to the same place okay not sure we'll see how it goes I think I died in that last battle but <coughs> yeah he was saying to me you should should uh, go and to the grand final because for my football team they had not appeared in the grand final for most of my life but it's very expensive uh, you're talking like a couple of thousand dollars just for a couple of hours entertainment and to me I didn't think that was worthwhile uh, but to him he never misses one so you know you've got to enjoy life and and do what you want to do uh, save the money, work hard, that sort of thing, and then eventually you get to enjoy doing the things that you want to do. And I know Red's done that as well. Um, you know, putting in a, a studio in the, her house <coughs> to do ballet things, or going out and um, seeing all of the festivals that she goes to. I mean, that's all worthwhile. It's all great experience. You've never been to a festival, I'd highly recommend that as well. Okay, so just bear with me. But there's all kinds of things you can do, really, in life, isn't it? And um, that was the other thing that I also realised recently, that life's too short to, to worry about too many things. And, you know, if you have someone that you have a disagreement with, but they are quite dear to you as you get older you'll start losing friends people move on with their lives and it's not that you have a fight or anything it's just these things happen as you get older and um, I had a, a bit of a disagreement with one of my friends recently and I was gonna punish him for a little bit to, to just let him know I wasn't too happy but uh, I gave in very quickly because I realised there's no point. You know, you might not be here for too long. So, oh, jeez, I think I've got to get out of there. I keep getting stabbed. Can I get over there? Oh, I can. Nice one. All right, check that as well. Um, my mum owned a dog that was a Bonzoi breed and the circus wanted to buy it for I can't read that but I think it says $1,000 back in the 80s my goodness um what's a bon I don't know the hang on did I read that right Borzoi I've never heard of a Borzoi dog before uh let me just check no I can't do anything there you go to the left or the right. I like green. I'll go green. And I guess she loved the dog too much. Didn't want to sell it. I'd be the same to be honest. Although rat bag. Oh, I hope she heals. Soon she's still having issues with her, her paw. Oh, the music stopped. So just as an update for anyone that's interested. She... She... Um, Hang on, let me just delete that. I'm probably going to die there if I don't move soon. Uh, oh, what happened there? Oh, this is a bit of an old soundtrack. Looks like somehow I've done some editing without meaning to. Um, nope, not there. Where is it? Yeah, so update, her paw's pretty much healed, but she's just having problems with an infection that's just not going away. We are cleaning the wound twice a day um, and giving her antibiotics twice a day, but it just doesn't seem to be working at the moment. So anyway, we've had to take her to the vet a couple more times, and unfortunately, these last two or three visits um, because we have to get more tests done and she had an x-ray to make sure uh, that her foot wasn't broken yeah all of that's very expensive so 
Not too happy about that. Yeah, the, the live chat is a little bit quiet today, but I don't think there's too many people in there, Mitch, except for you and Red. Uh, the other thing is, I suppose, Random's usually there, but he doesn't say much, so he, he tends to be quite quiet and just listens. And then Spidey often comes in, but then uh, disappears for a bit and uh, comes back a little later on. Uh, props to you be able to keep the conversation going on your own. So, Mitch, I did... I don't normally watch other live streamers, and in particular gaming live streamers, but I've kind of forced myself to do it recently, just to, to try and improve the, the skill a bit. Um, because I had realised I don't have that skill. I didn't realise it's quite difficult to do for someone like me who's not very good at multitasking. Um, usually I have to concentrate on whatever it is I'm doing. And I figured it sounds so bad to say this and I'm not not having a go at anyone else but um, for me personally the way I look at it is you, you have to love the sound of your own voice to be able to sit there and just talk uh, not even two people that's the other thing like a lot of live streamers from what I've noticed will basically talk about whatever they want to talk about non-stop and then occasionally look at the chat um, the good gaming live streamers though from what I've seen, don't talk a lot. Um, I guess they get popular because of their skill in actually playing. So they don't have to do a lot of talking. But when they do, it's entertaining, I suppose. Um, the other thing that I've noticed some people are quite good at is commentating on the game. And I'm not good at that. Uh, just because, you know, it's even the, the one and only game that we played for years we both retired from now which is clash of clans i ended up giving the the clan to another member that had been there for a long time and uh, basically retired and stinky wasn't playing either so she retired as well and then what you see is us struggling through these games playing them for the first time and stinky gets a little bit annoyed with it as well it, you know, and she's not a big gamer herself and to play a new game each week and not know what you're doing can be a bit frustrating if it's uh, a more complex game. Um, thankfully, this one's really easy. I'm quite grateful that I just stumbled across an easy game to play while trying to stream by myself. Um, but the, the biggest problem I have is to try and think of interesting things to talk about each week. Because I could go on for ages about music or, um, you know, my own personal passions. At the moment, gardening is a very big thing to me. Um, this might be, might be a little bit too personal. I hope my family doesn't mind me saying this, but... I'm kind of preparing for their future as well. Not that I think they'll care too much, but um, at some point, and I don't want to scare the younger or the older audience here, but at some point you do have to think about your own mortality and what's going to happen after you pass away. Uh, everyone's going to go through that unless, you know, technology changes to the point where we can live forever, forever but... I uh, doubt that's ever going to happen for the moment. That's just the way it is. Um, so, you know, when you're young, you don't really have to worry about it. But when you get older, you've got to make sure you have a will and know uh, what you're doing. That That's why I caught up with a couple of friends uh, last weekend because I had to get our new wills witnessed. And um, part of that's, you know, what are we going to do with the property that we own and what are we going to do with the assets that we've got that sort of thing um, and because we don't have any offspring at the moment and we might never have offspring we, we certainly have to figure out how it gets split amongst family and friends um, have I, oh yeah I do have enough can I spend increases magic physical attack What's that? 
I don't even know what a crit rate is, but we'll spend it. Okay. So, again, yeah, not, not nothing, sorry, not anything that someone really young needs to worry about. If you're under 18, I think you probably fall under your parents' will, should anything happen. Um, but it is something to keep in mind when you get older and there, there's certain circumstances you need to consider. So I had a couple of family members that were recently involved in a, a car accident that did in, end up in a fatality. Thankfully not with, well I shouldn't say thankfully, but um, I'm glad that my family's okay. But it's just sad that, um, yeah, someone else passed away as a result. And, you know, they've got a, a young child as well. So you have to think about these things. What what would happen to the poor kid if, if it did end up being fatal for them as well? So just something to consider later on in life. But let's, let's cheer ourselves up a bit. I wasn't planning on going down that path, oh, going down that path. I might be struggling against all of these guys, but no. Oh, i got to say, this is a relatively easy game to play. Usually I'd die a lot more than that. Um, and then, well, the other thing I'll say is, you know, develop whatever talents or skills you can. Uh, this conversation that I had with the, the neighbour today, she said something that i got to not annoyed with but um she was telling me uh trying to get her her driving practice up so she's actually a a licensed driver back in her own country but not here so oh, how do i get down there um well oh. so she's having to do her driver's license again australia is quite strict um, so uh, Stinky also had to get her driver's license uh, again when she came here from another country. And she was telling me that she's struggling to do it because uh, she can't get the practice in. And I said, well, why not? What's stopping you from practicing? And I must admit that she does have a little bit of a problem in that her husband is on so we have l plates and p plates they're called the learners permit and the probationary permit uh, so she's on her learners and her husband's on his probationary and you can't in australia if you're on your learners permit you must have a fully licensed driver in the car at all times and he's not a fully licensed driver so he can't um, he can't actually teach her even though they, they're both fully licensed drivers in their own country um, okay just bear with me oh geez no things are getting a bit more expensive now nope I don't have enough for that or that or that I guess that's not happening Uh, so anyway, and then she started blaming God, saying, you know, God has it in for me. I always got to struggle in life. So I said to her, look, um, oh, she actually said, I couldn't practice this morning because there was no petrol in the car. And um, she can't go and, and fill up the, the petrol by herself. So I said, well, why don't you get the, your husband to to go and get some petrol. Oh, he's asleep at the moment. All right then, how about this? I'll go and get petrol with you. I'm a fully licensed driver and you'll get some practice in. And she's nice. Like she said, oh, you're too kind. You know, I don't want to trouble you. And I'm like, it's no trouble. It's only going to take a few minutes. And she said, no, 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 it's okay. And then I said, look, let's just go and do it. And then at least you can practice. And I offered four or five times and she just kept saying no. So then I got a little bit blunt with her and said, well, don't blame God. That's a you problem. Like you've told me that you've got this problem that you can't drive because, well, you can't practice because you have no petrol. I'm offering you to go and get petrol 
and you don't want to do it. So then how are you going to practice? Uh, sometimes, and I get that she said she didn't want to trouble people. She doesn't want to trouble her friends. But again, I told you the, the story of just last weekend. I had to trouble a couple of different friends to witness a document for me. You know, that's their weekend. I'm sure they've got better things to do than sign documents for me, but sometimes you have to do it. Um, otherwise, I wouldn't have a, a current will. So, you know, don't, don't uh, be too proud to ask for help. And I'm not saying she's too proud. I get that she just doesn't want to bother people. I don't really like doing it either. But it can also be a bonding experience. Like it was good to catch up with uh, both my friends. I hadn't seen them in a while. Um, they're not friends with each other, but they've known each other for many years because we all went to, to school together. Um, so they're aware of each other and they were happy to have a quick chat and so on. But again, I just didn't want to take up too much of their time. All right. Uh, speaking of that, I better just see how long I've been live streaming for because I do have... All right, we're almost there. Uh, so if anyone has anything else to say in the chat, say it now. Otherwise... What else am I going to talk about? Um, you know what? Let's just bore people with a tiny bit of gardening. Um, it's been fun. No, it hasn't been fun. It's been annoying to have to deal with pests. Oh, I'm really starting to... I used to think I was a hippie that loved all kinds of living things. I try not to harm anything unless it's a mosquito or a fly or a cockroach. They're about the only things that I'll willingly dispatch. Uh, but now I've come to hate the, the white cabbage moth. Oh, that thing annoys the heck out of me. Um, and also aphids now. I'm not liking aphids. Uh, snails never used to bother me. They annoy me now. Yeah, it's. I guess once you start getting a bit serious about growing your own food, you don't, I don't mind sharing a little bit. So, for example, uh, Stinky doesn't like the magpies too much because they s steal all our strawberries. And by steal, they eat half of them and then leave the other half. Well, why don't you just eat the whole fruit? Why do you just peck at it a little bit? I don't want to eat your, your leftovers, but I do. Um, yeah, so I don't mind sharing, but, uh, you know... Don't take it all from us. And snails, when you if you're growing from seed and you know the plant baby plants just come up, they can decimate your whole crop straight away, which is annoying. As can the white cabbage moth. That caterpillar, once it gets going, um, it does not stop. And this will be the other thing I'll say about nature. We've got a few wasps' nests uh, in ours and our neighbours' properties and. We were talking about getting a, um, a um, pest control guy to come and remove them. I had one above my garage and that was pretty easy to spray. It was just very small and within arm's reach. Whereas the other ones you've got to climb up on a tall ladder to get to. And I'm not game enough to do that at my age. I might, might end up falling off it. Um, well, I'm sure there's a lot of people my age say, ain't be a weakling, sooky la la, just go and do it. But uh, anyway, one day while I was out there, I was checking out the kale that we're growing and there was a wasp eating one of the caterpillars. So now I don't want to get rid of them if they're going to deal. That's the difference between the good pests and the bad, uh, good insects and the bad insects that the good ones will take care of the bad ones. So it's not bad to encourage that kind of growth. Um, natural pesticide. Uh, does Stink Pants or you wear fragrance? Yes, we both do. In fact, Stinky, um, for years and years and years, I've worn uh, a fragrance called Izzy Miyake. Um, and I do like it. But I guess she got sick of it because I always wear the same thing. And she bought a really nice one. She told me it's a, a knockoff from a really expensive one. But it's still expensive. 
and it's got a lovely um, what would I call it? not earthy I want to say like a woody smell to it or, or something like that so um, what is that holding down the attack button initiates con uh, concentrating for the moments attack is enhanced attack is okay oh pick it up oh I've got a shield now nice are these enemies to attack um, I'm not sure what's going on here there's numbers but they don't look like they're doing anything well oh, I guess I'm going through that door um, and Stinky, I couldn't tell you what she wears. She she wears a lot of different fragrances. What about you, Red? I've seen in videos you um, do a lot of cosmetic videos, so I'm guessing that you wear a lot of different fragrant fragrances as well. Awesome's there. Um, I say everyone has a little bit of everything in them. Also, howdy. That is true. Uh, awesome. Had robotics competition recently, would be happy to talk about that. How did you go? Um, and also, how did you go with the choir performance? Or is that, uh, I think you showed me a rehearsal, right? Not the, the actual competition. So I'm very curious to know how everyone's going with their, their competitions. Um, what Awesome's been up to as well. Uh, actually, let me just do the second, I'll do the other gifting now. Let's see if you get that too. Uh, membership gifting, because I'm not sure if I can do more streams next weekend. It's going to be busy too, but I'll try. I'll try doing stuff on mine. Um, it's really hard to get. Yep, there, awesome, got one. Nice one. Um... And some of these other names don't look that familiar to me. Uh, that was my solo in the competition. There was a room full of people, but you don't see them in the video. I did hear them though. So, um, how did you go? Did you? I think you should have got first place just on what I heard. Uh, and also, what happened in the robot competition? And awesome, what's been happening with you? Yeah, it's been a, a while since we've had a, a chat. My favourite perfume for women is called Cloud by Ariana Grande. Nice. So I guess a lot of celebrities have perfumes these days. I didn't know Ariana had one, but it wouldn't surprise me either. Uh, I think even Justin Bieber's got a perfume. Selena Gomez, they've all got them these days. I went to a convention last week. What was the convention about? Actually, that's a good activity too. I've been to a few conventions in my lifetime. Some are, are funny, some are... I'll tell you one of the strangest one while I'm waiting for the, the uh, live chat to say stuff. I went to a fitness convention once and... Um, yeah, again, I'm not attacking these people. I'll make that very clear, but... Wow, there's like normal human beings and then they, there's those fitness ones that take whatever they take to get their bodies to look like that. Some of the, the women did not look like natural people at all. They, I just can't see how you can get muscles upon muscles in a natural way, even if you're working out, you know, everyday hours in the day and some of the like it was I guess what I'm saying is the people that were just had normal bodies and you can still look fit and athletic um, but they had normal bodies compared to the the people that were at the stands they didn't have what I would consider normal bodies nothing wrong you do you I suppose I wouldn't recommend um, taking a whole lot of supplements and um, you know, drugs to to achieve that physique. In the long run, run it's probably going to do more harm than good. Um, but, you know, if you hit the gym and just do things naturally, nothing wrong with that. I should be doing that. Old Uncle F Fat Dot needs to lose a lot of weight. Um, 
Yeah, that's the other thing. Don't end up getting fat like me. It's it's not going to be good for your health later on in life. Um, or for your ability to do stuff. But I'm trying to get out there as much as I can. Um, Alright, so... Where were we? So... Oh, I've got a bit of reading to do here. Just bear with me for a sec. I've smelled cloud was really sweet. Okay, I'll have to go to the chemist and check that out. I have a perfume by Justin Bieber too. Nice. Do you actually wear that one red? So, I think, was it you that was using the male products? I think it was you that was using some male products as well as female. It's something to do with hair dye, if I'm not mistaken. That, yeah, used the same hair dye that I'd used before. Um, so, went to a cologne and perfume shop with my dad and mum. Nice one. On the topic, um, a dedicated perfume shop. I don't know if I've ever done that before. I'm going to have to see if there's one around. On the topic of robotics, again, we did not do the best. Okay. But that's okay. If you ever watch Robot Wars, um, some teams perform better than others. I admire the fact that they can actually create robots like that because I would struggle. Um, hang on, am I, why am I back to just a bone? I had all of these other weapons before, they're gone. Um, celebrities make billions in fragrance sales, that is so true. And the, from what I've heard, the reality is they don't have anything to do with them really for the most part. I have heard some celebrities take a stronger interest and will try and uh, not dictate, but maybe make suggestions to the perfumers. But the reality is the perfumers know what they're doing. You know, they they have more expertise than the celebrity. So it's just, you know, some perfume company approaches some celebrity and says, hey, why don't you come and, and uh, put your name on our perfume and we'll both make money. Oh, I forgot I had to move. Um, yeah, they do. They make a lot doing that sort of stuff. You put your... It seems to be one of the most uh, common things that celebrities do at the, and I'll say the high-end celebrities like the A-listers in music and, and uh, movies, they'll often be attached to perfumes. Um, or watches is another one. It seems to be for the high-end people uh, get approached by watch companies as well. Um, we go to first robotics competitions which are huge uh, millions of dollars huge I went to Anime Riverwalk with a couple of my buddy chum amigo friends what's Anime Riverwalk is that where they have anime displays next to a river uh, not much of an anime guy but the people were nice and I enjoyed my time there oh so it's more like cosplay by the river <laughs> I'm just saying Everything's by the river if it's a river walk. Uh, the competition's are live and stream, super fun to watch. Yeah, I'd like to go to a, a um, robot challenge one day. I've never seen it in real life, so that'd be fun. We did go to a restaurant recently where they had a robot waiter, though. It was the first time I'd seen that in Australia. Um, a very simple one compared to what you can see in Japan, for example, but... It was fun and the food was really good. Indonesian restaurant. Highly recommend it if you ever come to Australia or go to Indonesia. Because there aren't that many Indonesian restaurants um, in Australia, I don't think. They're far and few between compared to, say, Thai or, or Vietnamese or especially Chinese. But uh, hopefully they'll get more popular. I think their food's really good. Um... Stardust had a perfume for dogs by Juicy Couture, she wears. <laughs> so, nice one. I will say that my dad used to spray the, the dog with a bit of perfume every now and again to make her smell nice after a bath. Um, I was in a robotics program once. Awesome, awesome. 
So were you actually building the robots as well? When was it? I wasn't very dedicated to it because it lasted till 7 p.m. after school and I was an elementary school student. Yeah, that'd take up a fair bit of time, but I think that's a, a excellent skill to have. If you can use electronics, learn how to build things, I mean, you could have a very bright future with the way the world's going. Um, and on the topic of perfume, um, I will recommend the book, maybe not the film to the, the younger audience. I will say, you know, it does involve um, the taking of lives, but it's a very, very well written book. Uh, if you haven't, I uh, think the, the author's name is Patrick Siskind from memory. And the name of the book is Perfume. There is also a movie made about it that has Dustin Hoffman in it. And um, I forget the, the main character's name. Yeah. Jean, Jean Michaels, someone, someone, something. So if you get a chance, check that out, Red. You might really like it. Um, but, you know, it's not exactly general audience when it comes to the movie. But the book is good. Uh, you should try robotics a, a good, uh, again. Yes, I would say if you've got the time and you've got the skill, do it. Uh, the Riverwalk is a big landmark in downtown San Antonio. And we were in convention building nearby. Oh, nice. So that sounds quite similar to, is it like a cosplay thing where people get dressed up? And like Comic-Con, I'll say, but for anime. Because the first, I haven't actually been to a Comic-Con, uh, but I've worked, I've worked at one, if that makes sense, but you know, outside, so I wasn't in the convention. And um, it looks like people had a lot of fun doing that, getting dressed up in their costumes. They put a lot of effort into it. And um, yeah, I took a few photos with permission, of course. Asked if they didn't mind me taking photos. And most people are happy to oblige because they probably like the, the attention for the amount of effort that they put in. Um, oh, geez, I've got to get out of there. Uh, I'm not too sure where to go now. Didn't I just come from there? Nope. All right, we're earning the coins now. I'm not sure what that even does. I think you just stand there and bash things. That's not going to help. Right on the money. So I was, uh, I guess, correct with that. And did you see some really impressive uh, costumes when you were there? PS5 Spider-Man's voice actor was there. Nice. Did you get to meet them or get an autograph if that's your thing? Um, oh, gee, I died again. All right, I may have to... Well, I'll keep going for as long as you guys are willing to, to chat. Um, but I will have to do some stuff at some point. It's already past one hour mark. Yep, so I'll leave it up to the live chat at the moment because you seem quite talkative with each other, which is the best thing with the DLG. It's good to see they, they interact nicely, um, even with the various age groups. Uh, it was a very large line. My friends and I didn't. Yeah, that can be annoying sometimes, can't it, if you're wanting to. I suppose I'd do it for someone that I was really interested in meeting, like a idol or something or super fan but um, waiting in lines is not really my thing I don't even like waiting in line for a coffee <laughs> I'll often leave if that's the case but to each their own um, when they do the oh what was it called I can't even think what it was called back in the day the world world convention something something world convention oh that was some of the worst lines i'd ever experienced as a a person i was a child back then and 
didn't like it at all. You, you really didn't get to do much. Most of the time you're just waiting in line for things to happen. Um, but meeting celebrities is always fun. I've uh, met a few celebrities in my time. Willem Dafoe was walking down the street in Australia once and uh, well I can't say I met him I just smiled at him and he smiled at me because I was a little bit too nervous because I don't know I didn't want to disturb him he's probably just enjoying his time off from the the movie set I'm guessing he was filming in Australia at the time so sometimes but if it's an Australian celebrity I don't don't really care too much I'll go up and say hello have a chat Maybe say I'm a big fan if I'm a big fan. Um, I'm not too sure where to go here, but maybe up there. Yes, up there. Is there anything up in here? Oh, it looks like. Oh, getting a little bit better at jumping up the, the map now. Sorry, I'll check that live chat in a second. Why don't I have something to check here? You're not letting me check. Can't open anything either. No! I'm sure I'm supposed to be here. Oh, hang on, maybe I've got to do something else first. What's down here? No, this is where I came from. Uh, oh, oh, oh. Oh, it looks like I've got to go down. Is that everything? Alright, so just bear with me for a sec. Well. Oh. Okay, um, there's a really good pyramid head costume early on. I don't even know what pyramid head, head is. Got a cool foam gun for $36. My grandpa used to carpool with Chuck Norris. Really? Oh, wow. <laughs> Would be the safest carpooling you could ever do. Chuck Norris, he's a legend. Uh, the Green Goblin, have I told this story? No, I don't think you have, Fitch. Um, please tell. I can't even imagine what it would be like to carpool with Chuck Norris or the conversations you would have in the car while you're going from place A, a to B. Um, have you had any celebrity encounters? Uh, awesome. Or Mitch or Stard uh, sorry, Stardust or Red for that matter. Uh, DLC not owned. I gotta find. I don't even know what the DLC is. I'm trying to go into the forest. I don't Sorry, I'm just reading at the moment. Um, so I don't go to the forest? I guess not. Alright, so my grandpa's brother was quite good friends with Chuck Norris a very long time ago. Really? Uh, in his college years, and so by pro proxy, Chuck knew my grandfather. I'm trying to remember. So when my grandma, grandpa was on his way to the beach to surf, if Chuck saw him on the way to college, he'd pick my grandpa up and take him there. Nice. Did Chuck also surf, or he was just lending a helping hand? This was before hitchhiking was less demonised. Yeah, I mean, I wouldn't recommend hitchhiking these days. 
Um, I did that once or twice when I was younger and it was stupid. I shouldn't, shouldn't have done that because it can be extremely dangerous. Um, I think I just got lucky um, both times. <laughs> I think the closest thing was meeting everyone at the Ken's 5 News Station. Yeah, they're still celebrities. They still appear on uh, television. So was that an interesting experience? I've never been to a news station myself. Uh, did you get to see how the news is created? Oh, oh no. Let me oh, that's not going to be easy. So again, I'd be asking, what are the, the interesting places that you've been to? Because that's a new one to me. Uh, awesome. It'd be like going to a radio station. I've never done that either. I can imagine that would be exciting. Just do this one more and then uh, have to call it quits. Um, oh yeah, I will also say I'm going to try and uh, upload a couple of shorts, but don't, <laughs> I can't believe I'm saying this, don't even bother watching them because I'm trying to, to fill a niche that's for cats. Apparently there's a, a cat niche that needs to be filled. So they won't be the most entertaining videos, I will say that. So I want to try and at least get one of those done today. Um, there was the people who had the time... There were... There was the people who had to time when... Oh, right! And when the scene shifted. So that, that would take some skill too, I'd say. You've got to be on point for that. Particularly if they're doing like a, a live news program. Get anywhere here. But this is the same as before. Uh, where haven't I been? No, I've been. Oh, that's where I started from. Stupid. Oh, I died again. It's going to take me back to the same place. All right, so that might be it for today. Um, I really appreciate you keeping the live chat going, uh, Mitch, Awesome and Red. Much appreciated. It's entertaining. makes my job a lot easier to do that too. So I hope it was okay. Sorry I couldn't... Um, oh, no. Awesome still got something else. Um... I got to go into the main area and got to mess around with the traffic and weather screens. Really? So, is it true that they have a green screen for the uh, weather? So, the person's just standing in front of a, a blank wall, basically, and they, they end up doing a projector or something in the background there. The only reason I ask that is I've seen some bloopers on YouTube where they show that the, the green screen wasn't being used. Uh, sorry, it was being used and the person was wearing green or something like that. Um, which would be funny as well. Alright, so I hope you guys have a good rest of the weekend. The screens off screen show what you look like. And do you feel like you look the same when you're off screen as on screen? It's a little bit like when you record yourself singing that you sound different to what you think you do and look different to what you think you do. Uh, a green screen poncho too. Oh, I bet it would have been fun. 
Um, did you get to put on the poncho and and uh, do a few silly things in front of the screen while you were there? Or were they a bit strict on you and say you can take a look but you can't do anything? Alright. Um, yep. I got to put the poncho and eat traffic and eat traffic like Pac-Man. Not fun. <coughs> Alright, well hopefully we'll see you again uh, next weekend. I will I gotta try and stream more regularly. This is a bit of advice to all other YouTubers out there as well. Um, I did a little bit of research and it does turn out if you start being a, a bit inconsistent, which we certainly have been over the last year, uh, it does take a toll. So I'll try my best to, to get the regular streams going again. No promises just because yeah, time's a bit of a factor at the moment. We seem not to have enough time in the day. But it was good seeing you all. Uh, great to see the DLG. Thanks again for keeping the conversation going. Very much appreciated. And um, yeah, we'll see you in the next one. All right, take care, guys. Uh, now, to turn this thing off, I've got to do 